so I have this guy. This is a sapadilla or a chiku. These are very popular in um, India. It's, uh, I got this from an, actually an Indian grocery store here in New York. But uh, I, went, I went through India uh, maybe about a year ago or so. And they were everywhere. You know, they're they're very common there. Um, fruit vendors will say sell them like by the basketful on the on the side of the road. A lot of market stands will have them. Uh, what I like about this fruit is that it comes with a disclaimer. When I bought this at the market uh, and I went to the cashier to to check it out, the guy was like, "Do you know how to eat that? Because these are actually very dangerous. <laughs> it's another dangerous fruit that." Uh, isn't so good for you if uh, you don't know what you're doing. If you eat these before they're uh, perfectly ripe, they will dry out your mouth, they taste awful, and uh, it's not good for you to eat it. Uh, also, uh, well, I'll show you in a little bit, but it also has another kind of like defense mechanism to it. But um, these are uh, related to the, the sapote. They're, they're similar to the Meme Sapote, but they're a little bit smaller, as you can see. Um, actually, quite a bit smaller. Yeah. You can see that in there. Inside here, there are little seeds. And another thing that makes these very dangerous, let me see if I can find one in here. Huh, this one actually, I don't think this one has any seeds in it. That's interesting. Uh, let me open up this one just to see. Ooh, yeah, I don't think this one's good. It's hard to cut into. Yeah, you see like how this one is yellow on the inside, and this one is like a, like a very caramelly, kind of like brown color. This is good. This is really bad. You see how it has like a little like a little point to it? Usually they actually have little hooks coming off of them. This might be a different variety that's a little safer. This one only has like a little teeny thorn, but uh, still could do some damage. These are very dangerous because if you don't know how to eat them and you accidentally swallow one of these seeds, first of all, the hook gets lodged in your throat. It's a, uh, I think it's a defense mechanism to keep animals from eating them for whatever reason, um, and also the insides of these seeds are poisonous too. So they're, uh, <laughs> they're dangerous in quite a few ways. I'm curious what this tastes like, because I more recently actually had a Meimei Sapote, and I haven't had these in a while, so I'm, I'm kind of curious if they're, um, how different they are from a Meimei Sapote. So these have like a little bit more of like a gritty, um, gritty texture to it, when a Meme Sipote is a little more, I don't know, like consistent, a little smoother. Uh, the flavor is also different. These are very sweet and kind of like caramel-like. They've got like a... Yeah. Like caramel-like, a little bit like, um, flavor like... Like dried fruit kind of flavor, like raisins or, um... Yeah, like raisin, caramel, a little bit like a, a little kind of like a sweet potato kind of flavor to it, like uh, other sapotes have. I like the Meimei sapote is a little more, I think I said it tasted a little bit like cotton candy. It's got, it got like a like a sugar kind of taste to it. These don't really have that exactly. I mean, they're sweet, but they're sweet more the way like a pudding is sweet rather than how a... Um, rather than just like straight up like sh burnt sugar the way that uh, Meme Sapotes have that flavor. Alright, I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try just a little piece of this just to, to see if it is uh, by any chance still okay. I think that this one <laughs> is maybe ripe enough where the um, the astringent uh, dry mouth kind of uh, factor is gone, but it's not ripe enough where it tastes good because it's just it, this just tastes like mush. It doesn't taste like uh, anything really. You open it up and it looks like that. Don't eat it. It's probably going to give you dry mouth or at the very least 
it's not going to taste very good. And if you see these little um, black seeds in there, which I've now found that you may or may not get, uh, don't eat those. They usually have little hooks on the end and will get caught in your throat. Although I found that sometimes they don't have hooks on the end, which is interesting. I'm learning today. Uh, also, these are poisonous, so you don't want to swallow them because you'll die. And um, yeah, I don't know which one I prefer more. If I wanted to say like a meme sapote or uh, one of these chiku fruits, uh, I'd say like the, the flavor is different, but they're both good uh, in their own right. I would say that maybe I would go for one of these just because. They're convenient. You know, they're small. Meme sapotes are huge, so if you're gonna eat it, you need to have a friend, or have leftovers, or be really hungry. But for these little ones, you can eat like two or three of them, and it's, you know, it's really easy, because they're, they're so small. So I think that's all I'm going to have to say about this fruit. Uh, sapodillas are really good, so if you uh, can track one down, go try it out. <laughs>